decided to take a tuk-tuk to village market in Hua Hin. I've heard a lot about this market. It's early evening, so I'm not going to be sweating my ass off walking around it. And I'm going to go and check this place out and see what it's all about. Looking forward to this one. in village market to be honest I was actually expecting it to be an outdoor market with lots of little market stalls etc etc but here it is this is the uh, indoor market well it's village market so I guess it's like full of little market we'll see no point presuming is it let's get in there and have a look Street food, fashion street. And finally, it looks like we might be getting somewhere close to the street food section. Oh, more clothes coming up. Marijuana section. Again, more clothes. All seems to be a lot of clothes around here. If you want to go clothes shopping, then this is the place to come, I guess. Selection of shoes for you. Where is street food section. First up got to be the street food section. That's what I'm about. Chef Travels. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Really appreciate it and really helps my channel. Nice little water display thing going on there. Loads of little clothes stalls about so far. Bags, shoes. I did say street food, but maybe street food means a different thing. I don't know what the prices are like here, but they'll probably be cheaper than your average street markets and stalls. 150 baht for a t-shirt, that's not too bad. 990 baht for a pair of uh, chino trousers, it's pretty much 25 quid. Right, where's this food, street food section? Must be around here somewhere. Ah, here we go, look at that. Street food. And looks like we're spoiled for choice here. Got a few nice little stalls selling all kinds of goodies, cakes, different kinds of desserts. I think this is where I might be stopping. Some little stir fried stuff. The what's going on? Yeah, great selection of all kinds of things here. Look at that, pastries. That's enough to make your mouth water. Oh, making me hungry. Clothes stalls. 
cafe little sushi bar. If you like your sushi? Smoothies. I was actually expecting a more of an outdoor market with uh, loads of little market stalls, but this will do. It's all going on. Up. So basically, yeah, this is the Kua Hin Market Village. I was expecting it to be outside, but it's inside. Look at that. Pick and mix. We've even got a steak there, look. There you go. Oh my god. That is enough to make your mouth water. A little barbecue section. I could be getting tempted by that quite easily. There's 150 baht for the ribs. That's tempting. I'll come back for that, I think. Loads of Thai food. Just to be expected because I'm in Thailand. Pig on a stick, or is that chicken on a stick? Could be either. I do think there's a coupon thing going on here. I don't think you can actually buy it cash, but I'll find out in a minute because I'm going to grab something to eat. So, not quite sure what to go for. Sport for choice, as they say. Oh, that looks good. Duck noodle, duck intestine. I think I'll give that a miss. Everything duck noodle. Ready up. There's the ducks. Rice and curry. Pork Penang curry. I think I'm going to go for the pork Penang curry. That sounds like a plan to me. Ready up. Can I have a pork Penang curry? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, that, that wasn't very clever, was it? Ordered from the wrong side. Yeah, look at that. Stacks going on here. I mean, really spoiled for choice. These barbecue ribs certainly do look tantalizing to me. What we got here? Japanese teriyaki. I think I'm going to give the Japanese a miss as I'm in Thailand. It could be construed as a little bit rude. I'm going to go for the Penang curry. Oh, that's good enough for me for today. We got, can I have a Penang curry? And rice? You come with rice? Uh, pork, please. Pork, yeah. Can you do chicken and pork mix? Thank you. I'll do that. Eat here. Is he, eat here, yeah? You have a Coca Cola? Over there. Okay. I, can. I come back. So, as I expected, uh, I need to get a card. Don't know how you go about this. Always a good thing when you stumble across something you don't know because you need to learn don't you so let's go and find out no point in winching about it is there? <laughs> even though I'm a winching pom as the Aussies call us uh, to the Aussies now let's try and find somewhere where we can pay for this stuff it must be somewhere around here Guess you get a card and then they put a mark on the card and when it comes to pay you go and pay it 
Hallelujah, how are you doing? Oh, still start the place. This could be the place. No. Oh, I don't know where. Tony Cap, where do I pay a card for money? If I want to buy, how how I buy? Over there, okay. Have some cap. Bit of a mission, but hey ho, there you go. Nothing's easy in life, is it? Why does everyone want to do it? So, Eddie Cap, where do I pay? Find card? Card for pay. Fertile that to ask so far. Maybe it's me. Oh, look, cash card. There you go, there's the clue. Cash card. Right. Cash promotions card available Monday, Friday, 3 p.m. I just want a card, just want to be able to pay for my food. Don't ask for a lot. Well, I've got my little card. There it is. I'll put two or three hundred baht on it. So let's go shopping. Well, I'm in the street food village market in Hua Hin. So I've just got myself a card. You have to get a card pay for your food because you can't pay cash um, and just give them their card and I guess they take their bit off it and then when you go back afterwards if you've got any left on there they give you your money back how cool is that saves you carrying a load of dosh about doesn't it yeah so everything seems to be separated you can get drinks separate and that so I cap have coca-cola please this one have cold Huh? No. Original. Nothing cap. Oh, thank you very much. Nothing cap. My drink sorted out. You know what? I'm so tempted by these ribs. I might grab one. Hundred and fifty baht for the ribs. It's two pound fifty. Right. Can I have one? One, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna eat there. It's okay. How long? Ten minutes. Do you want me to pay now? Cash. Cash only. No problem. So some places are cash. Some places are card. What are they? Talk about make your mind up, eh? After about five minutes, look at that. My ribs have arrived. Oh my god. How am I going to eat all that? That's just gluttony, isn't it? But I'll do my best. So I've got my banana curry, pork, and chicken, and my ribs. Oh, I'm spoiled today. Definitely going to be taking up drinking space. This is. So I've got my ribs, amazing. Tuck into these and see what they're like. Oh. Could have done with being a little bit hotter, but the taste, wow. Delicious, absolutely gorgeous. I've got people looking at me. 
like I'm some kind of animal. But hey, I love food. And it's mine. I paid for it. And I'll eat it how I like. Altogether, this has cost me about, well, £2.50 for the curry, say a fiver. No, £100, £2.50, probably about six quid, seven quid with a can of Coke. That's a bargain. Chicken and pork. I'm definitely not going to be eating all of this. Um, nice as it is. I'll tell you something, for the price as well, considering it's indoors and it's, uh, you know, well organised and that, you expect to pay a lot of money, but actually it's quite cheap. I'm change out the tenner for two big meals. You can't complain of that, can you? Thailand is renowned for its street food. And, okay, some places you've got to be a little bit careful on the hygiene standards. Places like this, you know, it's all clean, tidy, and their hygiene standards are actually pretty high. So I'm quite happy eating here. And the food is so bloody good. Oh, so good. No way I'm gonna eat all this. I'm gonna have a carry out bag. 